Welcome to Utah, Canyonlands National Park, Island in the Sky, and the infamous White Rim Trail. 80 miles of rugged, cringeworthy, sheer drop-off trails, and you will need four-wheel drive. There's no way out of it today. of the road up here parallels the river by just a little bit with a very steep drop off to the right side into the river my advice since you're asking when you're taking routes like this that are right close to the water Take your seatbelt off. I mean, should something happen and you go in the water, you don't need that seatbelt. that would 
would totally wig out on trails like this. Linda, I'm not even sure what your last name is anymore. Used to be Bocanegra. Used to be, I can't remember what it was before that. It's been so long. I got a good memory, but it's short. Yeah, she would be wigging out.
this one right straight ahead after I take that left by that rock it should slide depending on the time of the year that's definitely four wheel to get up it because of the sand I'm looking at it from here Land two wheel drive baby that road as you were my little pointer right there it's a lot steeper than uh, it's showing up on the GoPro and sandy so I'll probably go four-wheel drive just to be safe <laughs> Switchback. showing up on camera. So the peak of that's where my pointer. Peak of that right there. Kind of going up like that. That's that steep part I was showing you. The beauty of practicing driving in just two wheel drive only under varied conditions allows you to know what your vehicle is capable of and what it isn't. By that I mean when you absolutely need four wheel drive, when four wheel drive helps. And when two wheel drive, low gear, second gear, which I'm in right now, I'm in two-wheel drive second gear this is kind of steep and it turns let's see I've got uh, oh yeah there's no doubt in my mind most of y'all would be in four-wheel drive here look at this okay let's back up a little bit beans okay that's where you know four wheel drive low now watch that's just four high anybody who put 
good sir. I gotta take a picture of that. Alright, so there's nothing wrong with trying to see what you can get away with with just two wheel drive. Because it's easy to go in four. So. I'm going back to two-wheel drive for this because there's not a lot of rocks. It's basically smooth. We'll go low. Here we go. Oh, Manny's off. sketchy, sandy, off camber. I don't know if you can see all that dust, but I'm in four low now. Not four low, four high. There we go. <laughs> Wait for that dust to clear. I was kind of expecting that only because there's some undulations. Four of my tires are uh, equally planted. Okay. No. gear for this. Let's back up just a little bit. Let's go four low, low. Oh, look at this. Just fucking walks up here now.
there's the trail. And there's the drop off down to the river. noticeable from a far distance away so that if someone else is getting ready to come up on this I'm gonna call it a catwalk because kind of what it reminds me of they will see you and possibly wait at a turnout or a place where two vehicles can get by give them some notice let them know you're coming
looking to start their way down. for today. I'm out of here. See ya.